even in my darkness thoughts about this war, I will never imagine such brutality. You can't be prepared that your employees will be captured by someone or you'll stay in occupied cities or when the relatives of your employees were killed. This is something you, you can be prepared for. This whole area has been swept up by the fighting. The blast shattered through a supermarket and a nearby apartment block. The war in Ukraine has been one of the deadliest in recent history. We at CPJ have been reporting on the killings of journalists in other wars around the world, but we haven't seen the numbers as high as in this conflict. So many journalists, both foreign and Ukrainian, have been killed in this war. Sevgil Musaev is the chief editor of one of the biggest Ukrainian media outlets, Ukrainska Pravda. Ukrainska Pravda has been known for investigative reporting, including into official corruption, which is one of the most dangerous beats in Ukraine, especially before the war. Two of their journalists have been killed in retaliation for their investigations and reporting. Sevgil is an ethnic Crimean Tatar, and she inherited the newspaper at a very difficult time. I became editor-in-chief in October 2014, five months after occupation of Crimea. This morning, more unidentified pro-Russia armed militias patrolling the streets of Crimea's capital. It was painful. I was very emotional about that. But it also moved me to become a journalist that cover war. Our media landscape uh, was brutally destroyed. There are no independent media. A lot of people were arrested, a lot of people forced to leave. Russia has been using practically the same tools of misinformation and propaganda it used to use when it occupied Crimea. Because we experienced this war already eight years, it helps us to be ready for different informational attacks and fake news. This is war between truth and lies. And thanks to journalists, the world saw the real truth about Bucha, Borodyanka, all casualties in these small villages. <laughs> Hundreds of civilians that were killed by Russian army in the beginning of March. Journalists covering the war obviously are on the front line. CPJ has been distributing first aid kits to journalists, especially local journalists and freelancers who are the most vulnerable group. When the war started, we were sharing our safety advisories on staying safe, how to procure personal protective equipment. CPJ provided information about casualties of journalists in Ukraine. They follow every single story, which helps us also to protect ourselves. Ukrainska Pravda and Sevgil have stayed on reporting the truth, no matter what, during the war and even before the war, trying to uncover it. This is about the courage of our journalists and courage of our people and our newsroom too. This is a question of existence of a country and we do not have choice. We just keep going. <laughs>